Okay, so get ready because today we're diving deep into a question that, well, it's kind of a big one. Yeah, no kidding. What is real love? And I'm not talking about the, you know, the rom-com kind of love. Right, right, not the Hollywood version. We're talking about the deep, the true, authentic kind of love. And to help us unpack this, we're turning to, get this, a YouTube video. Oh, a YouTube deep dive, I like it. Right, but it's not just any video. It features Rabbi Dr. Abraham Tversky. He's a psychiatrist and he, a scholar of Jewish teachings. Talk about a unique perspective, right? Absolutely, it should be interesting. So what does he have to say? Well, he starts off with this really interesting example. Uh, a young man is enjoying, like really enjoying a fish he's eating. So the rabbi asks him, why are you eating that fish? Seems obvious, right? I'd say so. I mean, I love a good salmon dinner. And that's exactly what the young man says. He's like, because rabbi, I love fish. But then the rabbi challenges him on that. Oh, how so? He asks, isn't it more about your enjoyment? Like you love the taste of the fish. So you're taking this creature from its home. You kill it, you cook it all for your own satisfaction. It's a powerful image when you really think about it. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty stark way to put it. It makes you think, right? And here's where it gets really interesting. He connects this whole fish analogy to romantic love. Okay, I'm intrigued. How does eating fish relate to love? He calls it fish love. Basically, it's when we think we love someone, but it's really about what they provide for us, our own needs, our desires, our own enjoyment, just like the fish. So we're kind of making them a means to an end using them for our own happiness. Exactly. And he takes it even a, a step further with this quote from another rabbi, and this one really stuck with me. He says, we don't give to those we love. We love those to whom we give. Let that sink in for a moment. Wow. That really flips the script on how we typically think about love, doesn't it? Totally. Mm -hmm. So instead of asking, do I love this person? Maybe the question is, how am I showing love through my actions? Right. Like, am I giving selflessly? Am I investing in this person without expecting anything in return. It's a challenging concept, but also incredibly powerful. It makes you wonder, are there any relationships in our own lives where maybe, just maybe, it's more like that fish love than we'd like to admit, where our own needs are kind of clouding the water, so to speak. Mm. Food for thought, for sure. Yeah. And this idea of giving, of investing in others without expecting anything back that's not limited to romantic relationships either, is it? Exactly. Think about your friendships, family, even just interactions with strangers. It's like, how can we bring a little bit more of that giving spirit to all areas of our lives? It's a challenge, but it's also how we grow, I think. I think Rabbi Torsky would agree with you on that. You know, he really leaves us with a lot to unpack here, but maybe one final thought to chew on. If this kind of giving is at the heart of true love, how can we